Okay, uh, we continue uh, our lectures devoted to infinitely dimensional distributions in Banach spaces. And uh, today uh, we uh, will uh, discuss uh, the properties and description of the probability measures in the uh, infinitely dimensional Banach spaces. I uh, recall to you uh, what we uh, discussed last time. Uh, we defined uh, on the Banach space uh, the set of continuous linear functionals. So B is a space of continuous. linear functions on B. We uh, uh, define the norm F for the element of B star uh, as follows. Norm of F is a sub of uh, x which belongs to b uh, f of x or uh, uh, b uh, zero one uh, here is the ball with the center at zero and radius one uh, and uh, it occurs uh, it occurs that uh, uh, due to how Uh, then the Boolean sigma field, then uh, the Boolean sigma field in space B is equal to the sigma field, which is generated by B star. Minimal sigma field, uh, uh, which respect to which any uh, linear functional, linear continuous functional is measurable. Uh, due to this fact, one can imagine that now we can begin to discuss uh, distributions on the uh, our initial Banach space B as a uh, uh, families of finite dimensional uh, distributions. So, <clears throat> if we if we consider if we consider uh, some measure mu mu is a probability measure. probability measure on uh, the space uh, on the Borel sigma field. Then uh, one can proceed as follows. Uh, one can consider a finite set of elements from B star. Then uh, one can uh, define the F, which is <coughs> F of X is 
is equal to the vector of values of our functional on the element x. Uh, it is evident that now f is uh, continuous mapping, so it is measurable. Uh, due to this fact, uh, one can define the image uh, mu f minus one. Uh, this will be a measure uh, on the space uh, f. And this measure is defined. This measure is defined uh, as element of the Borel sigma field in the space Rn. I will put uh, here index. Uh, uh, I will put here index uh, n. Uh, uh, we define the uh, new the value delta as usual it is new of the set uh, f uh, minus one from delta maybe i don't need this bracket okay so we have uh, such a measure for the f uh, as we recall, uh, we recall it last time, we have a good example of such construction. Let me recall you an uh, example of such construction, which is well known for us. Namely, if we consider, if we consider uh, as uh, a space B, a space of continuous functions on uh, the interval zero one, with the usual uniform norm. Uh, for just for one time, I put here infinity to emphasize that we have uniform norm. Uh, then uh, one can say that uh, probability distribution mu uh, uh, is a distribution, distribution of continuous random process. Uh, I will denote this process by x. Also, we know that now uh, we have some special sets of uh, continuous functionals on C01. Uh, last time we discussed some examples. Today we will uh, mention the presentations theorem for any. Uh, for uh, any uh, most known Banach space. Uh, but uh, now let me uh, take such one. Delta T1, delta Tf. Here the action of such functional on the element x is simply the value of x at the point T. It is evident that this is uh, a linear continuous functional on the space C G of R. Then having such a set, uh, one can consider uh, the construction which we mentioned. And uh, uh, now uh, it's evident that mu f minus one is a distribution a distribution uh, 
Psi G L. So uh, you see that the previous formal definition related to uh, general Banach space and to the mappings organized from continuous linear functionals on this space is exactly uh, the construction of finite dimensional distribution of random process in this situation. Uh, so uh, we can imagine that maybe the properties of finite dimensional distributions uh, uh, will uh, be the same as the properties of our new measures obtained from the distribution in arbitrary Banach space. Uh, namely, uh, uh, two properties will be very important for us. Uh, the first one, the distributions completely define the distribution of the process. Uh, this is the first uh, uh, remark. And second remark is the following, that uh, this family uh, cannot be arbitrary set of uh, measures on uh, Euclid spaces, uh, finite dimensional Euclid spaces, but uh, uh, this uh, family of distributions must be uh, 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 must be connected one with uh, with uh, another. Yes, uh, must be consistent. Uh, let me recall you what does it mean. If we have, um, for example, distribution of this vector and a distribution of the vector psi t1, psi t n plus one, so it is uh, longer for one value, uh, and so I will denote this, uh, this is a mu n and this is mu and plus one. Uh, then if I organize uh, the following set delta with tilde uh, from r n plus one, which is uh, equal to delta multiply on r, where r is, uh, uh, is related to the last coordinate. So this is cylindrical set in this r n plus one. Then it occurs that uh, we must have the following property. Mu n from delta uh, is equal mu delta, uh, excuse me, mu n plus one from delta. So uh, this is uh, the uh, main property which we have for finite dimensional distribution. Of course, there is another one related to permutation of coordinates. If we make the uh, permutation of coordinates, we must have the uh, uh, image of the measure mu l under, uh, under the same permutation of coordinates. Uh, it is much more evident than, than this one. Uh, so we must have such a family of consistent finite dimensional distribution. Then we know that we uh, at least uh, can recover the distribution of the process Xi, but uh, uh, here is one big problem. And we will see this problem slightly later. Now let's uh, uh, discuss the same picture in the general case. So let's come back to our general Banach space. 
which is not a space of continuous functions, and then uh, try to understand uh, what will uh, happen with the family of finite dimension distribution. Now we have uh, we have one space B. Uh, we have B star. We have uh, measure mu uh, in this space uh, mu in B. Uh, I always will uh, discuss probability measures. Uh, in opposite case, I will match what kind of measure we are considering, but in almost all our lectures we will discuss only probability. So we have such uh, an object. Uh, then uh, we consider uh, new, uh, uh, say, F1, Fn, uh, and this will be a set of uh, finite dimensional distributions of uh, measure mu. Uh, uh, each of them is defined via some uh, set of uh, continuous linear functions. Uh, as before, exactly as an example, uh, these are the measures in Euclid spaces. Uh, in Euclid uh, spa uh, spaces, so uh, they must be consistent. And uh, now let us think uh, in which term this uh, consistency, uh, uh, this uh, consistency uh, can be discussed. Can be discussed. Uh, so uh, we. Uh, have uh, much more freedom than before. Because uh, in the uh, previous example, we have only special functionals. Now it is not a case. Uh, and uh, we have to uh, slightly generalize condition of consistency of this uh, set. Uh, namely, uh, I will uh, consider the following. set of uh, uh, continuous linear functions like uh, J1 uh, they are all but, uh, is less or equal than M and the linear span linear span of uh, F1 Fn uh, as an element of B star, elements of B star is a, a, a subset of linear span of Gm. Uh, it means that any element of this uh, set at one of them can be represented as a linear combination of elements from here. Now, uh, let us uh, uh, con uh, mu uh, consider two measures mu fn f1 n and mu j1 and j m. It occurs this uh, to understand this I will firstly, I will firstly the following case. 
Haydn suppose that J1, Jm are linearly independent. So suppose, suppose J1, Jm, M are linearly independent. Uh, then, then uh, due to this uh, hypothesis, I can say that uh, the set of uh, our elements F one, F n uh, can uh, can be represented as follows. This linear span of F1, F, N uh, is uh, just some uh, subspace. I will put here this uh, but subspace, subspace of uh, linear uh, subspace, uh, linear span of J1, Jm, and uh, any element, what, what is uh, what is important now, any element of this subspace, if I take, for example, from here, some elements, uh, uh, some element uh, uh, this one uh, like uh, uh, for example H any element can be uniquely represented as an element of uh, uh, of uh, this uh, linear span so it is a linear combination from k equal one to m, alpha k of uh, and j k. Okay, and uh, this alpha case uh, uniquely are determined by h. Now uh, one can consider the following. Uh, one can consider the following map. The following map uh, here is B. Here is uh, the mapping uh, F1, F, and uh, into uh, here R N. And here is F uh, J one Gm into Rm. And uh, here I will organize mapping. Uh, I will organize uh, the mapping exactly uh, with this uh, 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 with the help of this relationship. So I use here a representation of F1 uh, uh, using these coordinates and so on. So this is a matrix. Uh, I, I will not write all matrix, I just say that this goes to J1, Gm. Uh, but uh, this mapping is organized from the matrix of the coefficient. F1 is expanded as follows, F2 is expanded as follows, and then we organize the matrix and it, it is uh, uh, just 
just my pillow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so now uh, we can consider we can consider the image of the measure mu and these transformations. Uh, let me uh, for a moment uh, denote this method by part. Then, uh, then it is uh, 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 then uh, I can define several measures. One is mu j1 uh, jm. Another one is uh, mu uh, f1 f n, and then image under phi. Uh, we will get two measures in the space Rm. These two measures are sitting on the uh, space on the same space. And let me now draw a picture. It will be Rm. Here is uh, living measure mu j1 jm. And here is some, uh, uh, this is phi from Rm. Here is a living our measure, this one. And uh, uh, what we are uh, uh, now, uh, what we are no, no, noticing, that if we do the projection of this measure onto this subspace, then we must get the equality. So uh, the projection P of uh, this measure on phi from Rn must be equal to this measure. Yeah. This is the condition of consistency now. Uh, it coincides with the uh, previous one when we have uh, the family of finite dimensional distributions of a random process, because in those cases, what we did, we have just uh, the following. Picture we have air n plus one, and this is air rn, and we uh, just did projection uh, along the one coordinate. So we have the same requirements, uh, but we need this requirement uh, in order to be sure that our family of uh, finite dimensional distribution is consistent and maybe it can be corresponding to some uh, measure in our space B. So uh, we have uh, now the condition of consistency. I don't discuss the case when J1, Jm are not linearly independent. Uh, but you can uh, you can do it by uh, by yourself. This is a slightly general case, but uh, the argument arguments are more or less the same. So so now let us uh, came to the main problem. The main problem is the four. Suppose that. that uh, mu uh, f1 fn fk belong to p star uh, n is greater or equal than one is uh, consistent family of final dimensional distribution. Distribution. Distribution on B. Uh, 
uh, the equation is the following. Does, does uh, uh, there exist, uh, there exist a measure? Uh, a related measure mu on b. This is the question uh, which we will discuss. And uh, maybe if we look back on our example with the uh, space C01 as Banach space, one can imagine that the answer is no. No. There are no such, uh, there are no such uh, uh, measure in general. Uh, why? Maybe you remember the problem related to continuous modification. We have a family of consistent five dimensional distribution, but uh, nobody uh, can say that uh, the obtained process is continuous for sure. We must have some additional uh, properties of this distribution in order to have continuous modification. So in general, the consistent family of finite dimensional distribution does not generate a measure on the Banach space. Uh, let, us, let us even write this remark. remark. Uh, in general, the consistent family of finite dimensional distribution distribution does not generate a measure generate And let me show you a simple example why it is not true in arbitrary Banner space. Maybe we can just uh, uh, consider a space of continuous functions uh, as an example. Uh, you, you, you can see, but this is not an idea. Why? Uh, because uh, today we are discussing general picture so we have to define this finite dimensional distributions for any continuous functionals, any. Uh, and uh, you remember that in case of random processes, we discuss it only very special functionals, like a value of the functions in the uh, fixed uh, point. Uh, but now we have to discuss other then it is not uh, so convenient to, uh, to build an example. Uh, so as an example which uh, proves this statement, this remark, I will consider a, a Hausher finite dimensional distribution on the separate Hilbert space. So uh, as an example, or, uh, one can say a contra-example, uh, I will consider uh, Hausch uh, finite dimension distribution on the separate uh, Hilbert space H. Uh, and uh, uh, I will uh, construct 
this finite dimensional distribution as follows. Uh, let e, e k, k is uh, a greater or equal than one, is the orthonormal basis. In our space stage. Uh, then I will consider a sequence psi k, k is less or equal than one, uh, greater or equal than one, is, uh, the, uh, is a sequence of independent. Standard uh, Hausen groups. Uh, now uh, let us take uh, some uh, set of uh, Continuous linear functions on H. I just recall you that uh, we have a nice representation of continuous linear functionals with the Hilbert space. So one can consider uh, uh, now the isometry H star is equal to H, and every functional is represented by the element of H. So uh, I will not uh, make the difference between two, the, uh, these two spaces. Uh, take F1, Fn, which belongs to H. Then consider for every k which is equal one n uh, the following uh, uh, xi of uh, f k. This is a random variable which is defined as follows. This is a sum of the uh, infinite series k equal one to infinity. Uh, and here we have. Uh, here we have uh, xi k, uh, f, uh, excuse me, maybe it's better to put here j, uh, xi k, uh, f, j, e, k, that's all. Uh, this is a scalar code in our Hilbert space age. e, k, as uh, you remember, uh, also normal basis. So uh, these coefficients uh, organize a square summate uh, sequence. Due to this, uh, uh, this series converge due to Kolmogorov theorem. It converges in square mean, uh, in uh, uh, the sense uh, of uh, almost sure convergence due to independence of uh, Xi K. By the way, it will, it will be important in the future. And this is a good exercise. Please check that this series converge not only in square mean, but in the mean of any order. So if I take LP for random variables, it, uh, it converges in this LP too. Uh, now uh, uh, we define such uh, random variables. Evidently, as a limit of uh, at least in probability of Hausen random variables, when we take finite sum, we have the sum of independent Hausen random variables weighted by some coefficients. So uh, the uh, Final sum here is Hausen for sure, and the limit is also Hausen. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, this is a Gaussian random variables. And uh, one can check what will be a distribution of uh, this Xi Fj uh, when we take all this set. So after the definition, let us consider the distribution of uh, Xi Fj together. So we have the following vector Xi F1. Uh, as we discussed, it is a house. It is a house. Uh, then to characterize its distribution, it is enough to have the mean and the coordinates. The mean is zero because we started from the standard uh, Gaussian random variables, xi k, which have zero mean. Some also have zero mean, and the limit also have zero mean. So uh, the expectation of this vector, I will write more formally, the expectation is equal to zero. Uh, what about covariance? To have the covariance, we just have to uh, uh, calculate the expectation of the product of two such uh, random variables. And now uh, let us consider the expectation. Let us consider the expectation of the product uh, xi of f, xi of uh, j. It is equal to the expectation of the product of two infinite sum k equal one to infinity. Here is uh, uh, xi k multiplied by uh, f e k. And then the sum is multiplied on another one, sum from k to infinity. Uh, here is xi k, here is j e k. And uh, uh, okay, maybe it is not necessary to. Uh, and uh, one can see that here we have independent centered summons. So when we, uh, due to the convergence in square mean, put expectation inside of this double sum we get the expectation of products of xi uh, uh, with uh, different indices. When the indices are different, we have zero because of independence. Uh, what, what is uh, remaining? Remaining the case when we have uh, the same indices. So this expectation is exactly the following. Uh, it is uh, equal to the following uh, infinite sum, uh, sum from k equal one to infinity, uh, f e k, uh, here is j e k. And uh, due to the Parseval identity, it is exactly an inner product of f and j. Uh, now we can back to our covariance matrix and say that uh, we know it. We know it. So uh, what we have? Uh, we have the uh, covariance of uh, the vector xi f1, uh, xi fn will be equal to exactly a uh, Gramian matrix of these uh, vectors fi, fj, and ij is equal to 1 to n. This is our covariance matrix. Yeah? 
Okay. Uh, then uh, uh, having such a family of Gaussian distributions with such covariance, uh, please check that we have consistency. Check those conditions which uh, we discovered with you uh, for a family of finite dimensional distribution. Now it's easy because of uh, such structure of uh, uh, covariance matrix. So we have the family of consistent finite dimensional distribution. But uh, uh, after this, uh, one can ask, is this family uh, in correspondence with some uh, distribution, some probability measure in our hyperspace age? And the answer is no. Why? Uh, you see? Uh, actually, uh, we can prove this discussing the properties of uh, probability measure on the uh, our hyperspace. Property is very simple. Suppose that mu is a probability distribution distribution on the hyperspace H. Then then uh, mu of the bulk center on zero and radius up must tend to one when R tend to infinity. Yes. Uh, it happens because uh, this is increasing uh, function with respect to R and uh, uh, the union of such balls is exactly our Hilbert space. So uh, we have such a picture. And now uh, uh, let us check that this property is not satisfied. Is not satisfied uh, in our case. Uh, I will uh, consider only as a ball of radius one. It's enough for me, so I will check now that if mu is in the correspondence with the hour set of uh, finite dimensional dis Hausian distributions of the kind which we consider, then uh, mu of uh, any ball, I will consider this one is equal to zero, but uh, you can uh, you can put here any bar. Yeah. And this will be the contradiction. Yeah. Why it is so? To understand this, uh, I will consider uh, the expression, the coordinate expression in our basis B. So B01 uh, is the subset of such set X that uh, the absolute value of the product X E N absolute value of the product x e e k uh, x e k uh, is less than one for k equal one. Uh, this happens for a for a n which is greater than one. So let us consider this set, uh, and maybe you can imagine that one can uh, explore its uh, measure mu, because uh, it is uh, evidently finite dimensional set. Yes, and uh, it occurs that we can uh, calculate 
its measure. Uh, so uh, let me uh, for a moment denote the set by delta n. Then mu of delta n will be equal to uh, to what? Will be equal to mu e1 e n e1 e n from the which set? From the such set uh, that uh, uh, vector so u from R n such that uh, every coordinate u k is less or equal than one. Uh, here is uh, uh, k from one to n. Yes. Okay. So we have such uh, such uh, uh, relationship. And now uh, let us uh, see what will be this uh, what will be this measure. Uh, it is evident because uh, these are element of our basis. So mu e1 e n uh, is just a Gaussian distribution with a zero mean and identity matrix because the Gramian matrix of uh, the also normal elements is one identity. Uh, so due to this, uh, one can say that it is equal to product. Coordinates are independent. It is equal to product of uh, uh, the same uh, multiplier. So I will write just uh, it in the following way, minus one to one. Uh, e minus uh, r square divided by two e r, and this is in power. Yes. Due to this, uh, it goes to zero when n tends to empty. And due to the our inclusion, which we have. Uh, we know that mu of this B01 uh, in the river space is less or equal than mu of delta n for every n which tends to be zero. So uh, when n tends to infinity, so we have that this is equal to zero. The same happens when we put here A and R. This contradicts, contradicts to our hypothesis that uh, we have a probability distribution related to our set of finite dimensional distribution. Uh, of course, uh, one can imagine the reason. The reason was for why we have such a bad example. The reason was for maybe it happened because of uh, the structure of our sequence of independent, uh, identically distributed Gaussian random vectors. Actually, uh, we can suppose that mu must be a distribution, distribution of the following random elements, some from k equal one to a infinity, xi k, but you see what happens. This xi k uh, was iid sequence, standard uh, normal uh, values, yeah? Uh, so one uh, have this uh, this is equal to this condition. It is equal to infinity. It is equal to infinity. This is the reason why we have not the measure mu, which is uh, which is corresponding to our finite dimensional distributions. So from this example, one can see 
that we have to add something to, uh, and, uh, to be sure that our family of finite dimensional distribution uh, generates a mesh. And uh, uh, what, uh, let us just uh, make a hypothesis, what it can be, what it can be. You see, here we put this, uh, here, here we put this condition. Yes. Then, then, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, one can image that uh, now, uh, if we uh, if we consider opposite case, if we consider opposite case, this one, then uh, in this case we have what we need. In this case we have what we need. So uh, it means that we must uh, control the coordinates of our measure, let us say roughly, because now we just make a hypothesis, coordinates of our measure on infinity. Uh, when we do this, uh, in which cases? Actually, we do the same when describing the compacts in Hilbert or Banner space. Actually, descriptions of the uh, description of the compacts in uh, infinitely dimensional space always uh, take into account some, uh, for example, uh, coordinate with large indices or uh, model of continuity or something. So we now understand that to go further from the set of finite dimensional distribution to the probability distribution on Banner space, we have to study compacts in this space. And we will do this on the next lecture. Today, this is all. Thank you for attention. And maybe somebody have questions, please. Well, I have a question or, or remark, or just to be sure that I understand properly. So in the case of um, uh, when we consider stochastic processes with continuous paths, so in the mm -hmm. space C of, of zero one, so uh, we have first statement that the sigma algebra generated by all uh, linear continuous functionals coincide with the sigma algebra sigma field uh, generated by this particular projections on uh, on uh, these deltas, yeah. Oh, yes. So this is the yeah. first step to consider special, so to say, special finite dimensional distributions. Mm -hmm. And then yes. the second step is that we need some something more, uh, not only about compacts in this space, uh, to, to, to be sure that the, the finite dimensional distributions um, uh, define uh, uniquely the, the, so the corresponding distribution. And then one more step, and then one more step to show that the corresponding distribution after that, after this distribution exists, it's really somehow corresponds to a process with continuous path. So we have three steps. Oh, you see? No, 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 no. This is extra step which we don't need. This is the usual way for theory of random processes. We start from the Kolmogorov theorem which says, uh, if we have family of finite dimensional distributions, then for sure we have random process. Then we say, okay, we have random process, but we don't know about properties of its trajectories. Then we invent something else like Kolmogorov condition mm -hmm. uh, to say, okay, under this condition, our process has continuous modification. So we have a measure in C01, actually. And uh, you will see next lecture that the Kolmogorov condition is exactly the uh, 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 so the condition for compacts. Mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, in general case, we uh, we proceed as follows: we don't want this uh, general construction. Uh, of course, we can we can have 
we can have it, but it is uh, ugly now. Uh, and uh, we just. I mean, Kalmogorov insistence here, this ugly will be ugly. We have, yes, we have consistent distribution. And now let us skip this Kolmogorov part. Uh, just ask what we need extra from this condition of uh, finite dimensional distributions uh, to have a measure exactly in this space. Mm -hmm. So we will start. Mm -hmm. And then we will say that we uh, concentrated in some sense. Uh, then we will have a question. This is our. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay, if there are no any questions, then uh, that's all for today. Uh, and uh, bye.